This is how you convert boring news article into something like this. This video was requested by one of my viewers. If you have any video suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment. To get started, let's first add an old paper texture clip as our background. Now, pick a news article that catches your eye. If you're after a simple animation, you can just take a screenshot. But in this video, we'll dive into a slightly more complex animation. First copy the headline, grab the type tool and drag out an area for the text and then paste the headline. Go to Effect Controls panel, choose your font. Instead of white, set the text color to black. We'll set the font size to 80 and tweak the position as needed. Click outside the layer to deselect when you're done. Next let's add a summary. Set the font size to 40 and adjust the position. In this example, I'm using a news article from the New York Times about Elon Musk. So, let's download a PNG of Elon Musk and the, the New York Times logo. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Now let's import the, the New York Times logo. It's pretty huge, so scale it down. I'm positioning it on the right. Then let's create a straight line. Select the pen tool and draw the line from right to left. Disable the fill. Set the stroke color to black. And adjust the stroke width to 3. Next, let's bring in the image of Elon Musk. Scale and position it to your liking. Oh, I almost forgot to add the publication date of the article. Move all these layers up one track. Then, use a rectangle tool to draw a rectangle. Set the fill color to orange red. Then use the type tool to add the date. Adjust the font size and set the text color to white. Before Lynn Musk image. Let's first overlay some grid lines. Feel free to scale them up and adjust the opacity to your liking. The paper texture is to dark, so select first layer and go to the effects panel. Search for the levels effect and double click it to apply it. In the effect controls panel, set the black output to 100. Now duplicate the Elon Musk image. For the top copy, apply a black and white effect. And for the bottom one, add the tint effect. In the effect controls panel, use the eyedropper tool under the map black to option to pick this orange red color. You can add an offset by adjusting the position values. Once you're done, let's go ahead and nest this sequence since we'll need to animate it later. Now let's animate the publish date. Move forward a few frames, select your layer, and in the effect controls panel, click the stopwatch icon next to the position to add a keyframe. Then, move back to initial state and decrease the Y value. Don't forget to set a keyframe for opacity to start at 0% and then drop it to 100% for a fade in effect. Next expand the position settings. Right click on the first keyframe and set the time interpolation to ease out. Drag the second keyframe's handle to the left to create a smoother animation. For the headline, let's add an ellipse mask and set the mask feather to 100. Adjust the mask size as needed. Then click the stopwatch icon next to the mask path. Move the playhead to the starting position and shrink the mask size as much as possible. If needed, we can fine-tune the mask size afterward. We'll follow a similar process for animating the new summary, but this time we'll use a 4-polygon mask. The goal is to reveal the text from left to right. We're applying the same slide-up animation to the New York Times logo that we just used for the published date. Now for our line. Head over to the Effect Controls panel. First, disable the Uniform Scale option. Click the stopwatch icon next to Horizontal Scale and drag this keyframe a few frames forward. At the starting position, set the scale value to zero. To keep the animation smooth, I'm repeating the same steps as before. Similarly, you can apply the same slide-up animation to the Elon Musk image. I'm speeding up the video, since we're just repeating previous steps, so no need to linger here. Notice, password is, click news. Now from the project panel, we'll create a new adjustment layer. Simply drag and drop it onto the top of all layers. With the adjustment layer selected, go to the effects panel and add the transforming Gaussian blur effects. Then in the effect controls panel, click the stopwatch icons next to scale and blurriness. Move forward by one second and increase the scale value. Again, 
for smooth animation. I'm repeating the same process as before. Now for the next animation, move a few frames forward and set the blurriness value to 12. Then, move forward a few more frames and set the blurriness back to zero. Let's add a newspaper highlight effect. Grab the rectangle tool to create a rectangle shape. Change the fill color to yellow or any color you prefer. Then, set the blend mode to darken. Go to the effects panel again and add the rough and edges effect. In the effect controls panel, set the border value to 38. We'll use the same method of animating a straight line that we discussed earlier. And let's apply the same animation to our summary text as well. To add an extra touch, let's add some sound effects in background music. Feel free to tweak and adjust as needed to perfectly match the vibe you're going for. And this is what you will end up with.